Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Last stand for the state. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. President Obama's speech this afternoon is a complicated deal. He says he wants the nation to reduce the federal debt by $4 trillion over 12 years, but that's not nearly enough. Mr. Obama also stated that the debt reduction will be accomplished by spending cuts and so-called tax reform. The words tax reform are interesting. I believe that is code for tax the rich. First, let's look at the sad facts. Ten years ago, the USA spent about $1.8 trillion a year. Last year, 210, the Feds spent double that, double. Medicare payments, more than double. Defense spending, more than double because of two wars. Entitlements like Medicaid, food stamps, welfare, up from $232 billion to $558 billion, a whopping increase. Finally, public broadcasting up from $300 million to $420 million, just so you know. So you can see the intrusion of the nanny state, the feds doling out money to help citizens who cannot or will not help themselves. President Obama seems to understand the anger of the American people when it comes to unnecessary spending. But he also knows that we are a divided nation. New Gallup poll is instructive. When asked if more cuts should be made to domestic spending, 45% say yes, 47% no, a dead heat. On the subject of taxing the rich more, 59% say yes, do it, 37% no. Mr. Obama is certainly taking comfort in that, but he should not. Because a new Reuters poll says 69% of Americans now believe the country's on the wrong track. Just 25% think we are going in the right direction. Very bad news for the president. Now, there is no question that government spending is out of control and that the committed left wing wants and approves of that. Say hello to Howard Dean, who continues to hammer Republicans. These guys hate Medicare. They hate the welfare state. They hate Social Security. They hate anything that helps ordinary people. They are in the pay of corporations. That's who paid for the pains, and of course, that's who they're going to, whose tune they're going to dance to. Well, Talking Points believes Governor Dean is dancing to the bankruptcy melody because taxing the rich isn't going to get the country out of the fiscal mess. Here's what will. First, go back to the spending level of 2008 and cut from there over a period of 10 years. Second, Reform the chaotic tax system. There should be three brackets with affluent Americans paying about 35 percent and many deductions phased out. Also, the corporate tax should be flat as well, around 20 percent, with most deductions phased out. No more free rides for General Electric and other companies who stash profits overseas. Third, a small national sales tax should be implemented on everything except food, medicine, and medical care. That will instantly raise billions and not hurt the folks too badly because the income tax will come down significantly for most. Also, tax collection will be much more efficient as the sales tax dollars roll in. And fourth, reform Medicare by allowing private insurance companies access if people choose that. They'll have a choice. In addition, Raise the age of qualification for both Social Security and Medicare for Americans now under the age of 45. If those items were passed by the pinheads in Washington, our debt would come down fast. World confidence in the American economy and dollar would soar, and the nanny state would be doomed. All good things. And that's a memo.